This is getting smelling because the water is yeah. stuck. And there's millions of mosquitoes. Yeah, because the water's sort of stagnant now, like a pond. The mosquitoes are uh, coming in uh, and uh, yeah, biting a lot. So we got some natural spray, which is always good if you go into these natural places. Don't use these horrible toxic sprays. We've got a, what do they call it? You know, a bio, whatever. Um, this has citronella. Huh? Citronella. It's like citrus. Yeah, it is a citrus one. Citrus is perfect for keeping away the bugs. They don't like landing on that. It's not good for them to sort of deteriorate their bodies. So they tend not to land on them. But yeah, this is the garden. Um, I'll be posting a video when we arrived uh, later because I never posted that and you'll see how this looked when we arrived quite different but yeah there's still a lot of water around this looks like a pond you know over there and over there but that was actually where you can rent a bike before i think they've moved the bikes now this is where all the water comes through so you can see how high it got it had to get right over this bottom through here um and it was pretty bad um the gardeners kept this place really nice but obviously the water's destroyed everything they'll probably have to have to um they'll probably have a big job on on their hands there's a few of them yesterday yeah, doing some kind of work after the floods he's a really nice guy the gardener when he got us a pizza when when things were tough so uh yeah big thanks to him isn't it boo she don't care how many mosquitoes she's worried about but anyway <laughs> He's a nice guy here. The, the Mexicans, is it? The taxis go. Mexicans are always very friendly. So, uh. We meet him when he, he takes us for Punta Mosquito. And he gives me the number, that's why he came back. For so what? The... When we went to Punta Mosquito, but it's like so windy. Oh, he's the same guy. <laughs> yeah, this time. Hola. Hi.
deep. Pretty tough to have my feet again wet. Should we put this in the back then? Is it on the back? Still pretty. still come here this week then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd say no. <laughs> it's not a, not great. It is an adventure. Depends what you're coming for. If you're coming for an adventure, do it. If you're coming for an easy time, I'm not so sure. No laugh. Yeah, we were kind of uh, stuck. We 
How much did he charge? 150. 150, yeah, so that's like five, seven pounds, yeah. Seven, uh, 100 pesos is five pounds, that's always a good reference. Um, most things shouldn't cost too much more than that. But uh, yeah, right, we've got to grab a few bits now. Right, these things carry, don't they? So we haven't got a That's where you get your uh, get your ticket. If you need a ticket. The whale shark, that's what they're known for in uh, whole Bosch. You can swim with these when it's the season, which isn't at the moment, so if you're coming here for that, don't, especially with this weather. Um, what am I going to say? So, uh, yeah, the basket shark's a really cool animal, really docile animal. They're not scary. Well, they're big, so they might be scary, but they're safe to swim with. They don't harm humans. I think there was a case of a diver once. I remember reading a story. He was swallowed by one, and it all just went dark. He was like, oh, no, I'm inside a, <laughs> a whale shark's mouth. And then he spat him out again. And he lived to tell the tale. Probably a story on YouTube somewhere about it. Pretty mad if it's true. Um, that's a good way of getting on the telly telling a story like that, so who knows. But yeah, I think it was legit, I'm wearing. I'm wearing shoes like this. Yeah, shoes. Yeah, these are the shoes. Yeah, I tell them, my love. Yeah, because it has like holes, so they can dry. Yeah, they dry fast, the shoes. They're good for this weather, this, if you're coming to this island. Because my crocs are wet, and i got to walk around all day with that. One thing we did notice with here is very uh, su uh, dirty and it's dusty, normally. It's so wet now, it's not so dusty, but it's still kind of mucky when you're walking like about. Swan. Yeah, now it is after the, after the thing. The <laughs> flood, it's all a bit sludgy, but before that it's very dusty, so uh, yeah, it does get on your feet a bit. So you're constantly kind of annoyed with your feet. <laughs> so yeah, think about your shoe wear before you come. But, yeah, nice little ferry port, you just chill out, yeah. Wait till you're <laughs> pulled up in it, baby. They usually come and tell you the board, and that's it. I need the banyo. It's been a rush this morning. I need a leak before the ferry. I hate the ferry toilet. Huh? You don't want to go up? Yeah. I don't know. It'd be nice if it was sunny. Well, like today is simple, but we might as well go up. It's up to you. But... 
Yeah, it'd be nice. It's probably our last time on a ferry for a bit. We might as well go up top. Mm -hmm. If you want, up to you. It's a bit, bit nicer experience on top. Okay. Um, right. Terminal. Terminal Hermanos. So yeah, there's a little coffee shop. Here's the ferries. Also, the ferry is a lovely journey, isn't it? Tell them about the ferry, my love. It's cool. It's not like Isla Mujeres or anything. No, it is. It's because the here it's a lagoon. It's lagoon. Yeah, we think it's lagoon, but no, it is. It is. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it looks big like the sea. Yeah. I think it meets the sea, but this bit's like lagoon. The uh, the green bits there. But, uh, yeah, it's weird. But yeah, it's very like calm. So yeah, it must be a lagoon. Yeah, cause it's not like the sea. Yeah, pelicans in that here. But it's like I think it's like estuary water. It's a bit of both. Yeah, you got manatees, crocodiles, turtles here, monkeys, tapir, but not in the water. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff here. I can't believe there's tapir here, I mean that's crazy. I wish we'd had a chance to look for some, I don't know where we would have looked. Um, but yeah, would have been cool. But there's your update guys, uh, that's your tour of the island. Uh, what's the day today? I don't even know. Is it Wednesday? Wednesday the 7th, is it the 7th? Yeah, I think. So um, yeah, Wednesday 7th of February and uh, this is how it is at the moment. So if you're coming this week, I mean, the sun's out now. We'd be fine if we were arriving there, because we would have missed it all. We would have just arrived and thought, oh, it's a bit wet. The uh, taxis are a bit bumpy and glassy. That's about it. I think everything would be open and that. I think everyone's leaving now, so everyone's pretty happy to leave if you've been through the storm. It's nice to be able to get out of here, get to the next place. But anyway, keep an eye on the channel, uh, subscribe, hit notifications so you don't miss the videos. I post a lot. Um, I do music, check out my music, and that on that. It's on all the platforms. I've got my music videos on there and covers and stuff in the playlist on the homepage of my channel. If you're English and Dom Jolly's in my changes in new music videos, that's always cool to see if you haven't seen that yet. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll update you on the next part of the trip, won't we, babe? Where are we going next? El Cuyo. El Cuyo. Then where? Rio Lagartos. Rio Lagartos. Then where? <laughs> it's all an adventure. And we're probably going Merida. Huh? Ah. Common. What is it? Common. What's that? Ah, uh, some other place. What is it? Homon? Homon. A nice little bird here. A seabird. A little wading bird. Pelican there flying over. It is cool. Lots of pelicans there. Lots of pelicans around here, which is cool. But yeah, um. <laughs> Yeah, probably going to travel around to Merida. It all kind of follows round. So we've got a bit of an adventure, going to Merida. Go uh, a lot of different places. So if you visit Mexico or anything, and want some ideas of where to go, we're going to show you all these little places. El Coyo is like a little town. I'm big into my wildlife. So I, I like going places where I might find a snake or a little flamingo. So uh, yeah, I'll always be showing you all that stuff. So. Definitely check out the channel because you'll probably see some rare stuff. Not everyone's really into looking for lizards and amphibians and things, so you'll see some stuff that you might not see on some travel things on YouTube. Different side of stuff, you know. If you like your animals, definitely keep watching. Anyway, adios, my arms hurt and <laughs> Say bye, my love. <laughs> Brenna's started.